Ciao, sono Anna e questo è My Italian Circle. Everybody knows the meaning of piano and forte, even if they don't speak Italian. Along with tempo markings, dynamic markings in Italian are found almost everywhere in classical music. Let's see them together. Italian for Musicians, Part 2. Dynamics. Dynamics in music indicates the changes in loudness within a piece. The loud and soft parts of a piece are like the lights and shadows in a painting, and dynamics is one of the main ways with which the performer can make music expressive and moving. The king of instruments itself, il pianoforte, is named after the soft piano and loud forte sounds that it can produce. It's no coincidence that the piano was invented in Italy, when Bartolomeo Cristofori, yes, the accent goes on the first O, added dynamic control to the harpsichord around the year 1700. Let's see dynamic markings from the softest to the loudest. Piano, soft, pianissimo, very soft, più che pianissimo, very, very soft. Please note that the word pianissimo for PPP is not Italian. The double superlative would be pianissimissimo, but più che pianissimo is more appropriate. Some composers also use a marking with four P's or even more, for which words such as pianissimo, pianissimo, and so on are sometimes used, but again, these are not real Italian words. Forte, loud, fortissimo, very loud. Più che fortissimo, very, very loud. As with tempo markings, these words do not provide an accurate indication of the actual loudness required by the composer and must be considered relatively to each other. Mezzo piano. Louder than piano, but still not as loud as mezzo forte. Mezzo means half or middle. Mezzo forte. Almost as loud as forte, but not there yet. Crescendo. Gradually increasing in loudness. Crescere means to grow, so crescendo literally means growing. For those interested in grammar, it's a gerund, like many others of these terms. Decrescendo or diminuendo, the opposite of crescendo, getting softer. Diminuire means to decrease. Note the pronunciation, it's diminuendo, not diminuendo. Sforzando, forzando, rinforzando. All these terms indicate an accent. Sforzare and forzare mean to force, rinforzare means to reinforce, so they all indicate a sudden increase in loudness to emphasize a note or a chord. There is no agreement as to whether the different markings are to be interpreted differently. The meaning in Italian is the same. Smorzando. Smorzare means to soften, to dampen. It's a gradual softening that fades into nothing. Morendo. Morire means to die, so the sound needs to literally die away. It's usually found at the end of a piece.
sottovoce, quietly, in a low voice. It implies a soft sound with a whispering quality. Subito. The last word I want to talk about is an adverb that modifies what follows and means immediately, right away. It is usually followed by piano. Subito piano means to suddenly soften the sound. It is often used by Beethoven to indicate a sharp decrease in loudness compared to what comes before. And again, if you have trouble with the pronunciation of some words, try our Italian pronunciation guide. Forte and sforzando definitely require a good rolled R. With a little practice, you will get there. In the next and final episode of this series, we'll explain many more Italian terms that have to do with expression and articulation in music. These are the most nuanced and interesting terms that you will come across. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime we publish a new video. A presto!